We counted 59 kills in VHS2, with 33 male victims and 26 female victims. Uh, there were some zombies in there, but we'll mix them all together for this press play pie chart. This was a massive jump in kills compared to the first movie, and if you're interested in how the kills broke down per segment, look no further. Once again, a segment had zero kills, since we didn't count abductions in the alien one. With a runtime of 96 minutes, VHS2 had a kill on average every 1.63 minutes, and with five segments, including the wraparound, the movie had an average of 11.8 kills per segment. I counted 11 kills in Hatchet, and most of them were real gory. The victims consisted of 8 men and 3 women, a more than 2 to 1 ratio of dudes. This count and breakdown's been seen twice before on this show, and Freaky and Social Media Asicus too. With a runtime of 84 minutes, Hatchet had a kill on average every 7.64 minutes. We counted 49 kills in VHS Viral, with the victims consisting of 41 men and 8 women. That gives us this trending page pie chart, but the movie falls just short of VHS 2 in terms of kills. I blame the segment that got cut. This was the first VHS where every segment had at least one kill, and Vicious Circles became the deadliest wraparound of the series. With a runtime of 81 minutes, VHS Viral had a kill on average every 1.65 minutes. And with four segments, including the wraparound, we had an average of 12.25 kills per segment. Segment. There were eight kills in The Hills Have Eyes, with the victims consisting of six men, two women, and no babies. That's a clean three to one ratio of dude to lady victims. We've only seen this count and breakdown twice before on the show, in The Babysitter and The Exorcist 3. With a runtime of 90 minutes, The Hills Have Eyes had a kill on average every 11.25 minutes. 